and we are sitting out on deck four, enjoying the uh, the view and also the the nice weather. So far, it's perfect. Today. Yeah, it's perfect so far this morning. So, we wanted to talk a little bit about about the menus. Uh, I'm I'm always reluctant and think it's a little awkward to shoot video while while we're dining with a whole bunch of other people around. So uh, we thought we'd spend a few minutes and, and talk about what we liked and, and didn't like. But to be honest with you, I don't think there was a whole lot that we didn't like. Uh, mm. So I guess first of all, we start. We'll start off with there we are. Day one. So this was a seven night cruise. Uh, so we got more variety this time in the dining room I thought um, so day one we did crispy crab cakes I had s the southern fried chicken and that was really good super tender and juicy it wasn't dry at all and key lime pie and that's always good that's a standby every time we are on a cruise you have to get the key lime pie and what did you have? I had, I think I had the same exact thing. I know I had the fried chicken. Yeah. And it was good. Had a little, has a little piece of, uh, of corn on the cob, which was, was just enough. And I'm, I'm sure I had the key lime pie. The key lime pie is always good here, I think. Uh, All right. So now we go to day two and let's see, that night was Taste of the Caribbean. And we did crispy coconut shrimp. Yep, that's what I had. That was super good. Yeah. And um, what did I have? I had the roasted Caribbean chicken. Now, here's a tip. When you see that on the menu, that is half a chicken. <laughs> you have the option to get a chicken breast, which is what I did. And then it came with... Um, fried dumplings and pineapple and black bean salsa and it was really good and for dessert that night what did I have I believe that I had carrot cake and that was real good carrot cake okay yeah I had the coconut shrimp which which I love that that was very good and had the I'm looking at my phone here because I, I can't remember <laughs> we can't remember. remember what I ate without <laughs> without something to jog or my old memory here. But uh, yeah, I had the uh, jerk seasoned pork chop and it was it was very good. It came with rice and beans and... and uh, it was a pretty and, big pork chop. Yeah, it, it was good yeah. it, and it was really tender too. And I liked it a lot for dessert. Gosh, I gotta look here, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, what did I have? Were you still scrolling? Yeah, I'm still scrolling. <laughs> we need to write these things down each day. Yeah. So that we don't have to Don't have to go back and remember. I think I had the royal chocolate cake. I think that you did. Yeah. Which is always good. It was very good. Yeah. Uh, so so then on day three, we decided to have lunch in the main dining room that day. And I just got a wedge salad and a pulled pork sandwich, and that was very good. I uh, really enjoyed that. And um, for I think for um, dessert, I don't even remember what I had that day, but I know it was good. And we ended up going to Windjammer that night because it was Tex-Mex and, and that was really good. They had a nice variety of stuff up there. So it was nice to kind of just go up there when we wanted to and take our time and kind of scroll through all the options. Yeah, and I want to say the Windjammer uh, here on Adventure They've apparently redone it. They they removed one of the uh, buffet lines. Uh, in, in most of these ships, you walk in 
and you walk around to the right and there's a buffet line, line that starts there and you go on around and there's a second buffet line where there's a carving station like dead ahead right in front of you well they've removed that and it seems like they moved everything rearward a little bit and they have tons and tons of seating there's lots uh, more seating up there yeah uh, and i think the the selection of food is still the same they just don't have as much duplication in the buffet lines as they used to so you know there have been times on other ships that we've gone up there and you know you get your plate filled and you get to sit down and there's no place to sit so so we were there at a pretty busy time uh one night the first night uh, and we had no trouble at all finding a seat there were there were lots of empty tables so that's uh that's a big big improvement in my book yeah because we had one night uh when we were on freedom that we went up there and we couldn't find a place to eat and right to sit down right for dinner so we ended and up going out to the pool, pool deck, deck yeah which was fine too but um then I think day four we did Windjammer again and I think that was the night I got that French onion hamburger and some fries and a couple other little sides and that hamburger tasted really good after eating all that fancy stuff yeah. but um, yeah that was real tasty okay then uh, we've done breakfast also in the main dining room yeah couple of couple days, days that was real nice you can sit down it's not you know it still takes you about an hour a little longer maybe but um no, I, I think it's quicker did you? for breakfast yeah and you, then, you can get through the main dining room now and, and not much more than an hour i think i think their speed has greatly improved there uh of course you you know you can sit there and and talk to people and you know have your cup of coffee afterwards and spend an hour and a half there if you if you wish but I think if you really uh, pushed and plowed through your dessert quickly you could probably be out there an hour mm -hmm. and 15 minutes or so so yeah that was that was that was nice so for those of you who are introverts we kind of are <laughs> And usually we try to get a table for two, uh, but this trip we were seated with um, another couple and two ladies that were cruising and we have really had a great time uh, chatting with them. The one couple's from Canada and the other two ladies are from New Hampshire and we've just really enjoyed getting to know them. So don't be afraid to kind of step out of your comfort zone a little bit and um, meet new people. That's fun. So we're going on to day five, are we? Yes. Okay, day five. That was Italian night. We did go to the dining room. And um, I had the ministry soup and that was really good. And um, I had lasagna. So we we disagree on the lasagna. To me, it was too much meat, and and it felt like the meat was overcooked, and there was very little uh, tomato sauce within that lasagna. It was okay. I ate it. It was all right. Um, but it wasn't the best I'd had. Yeah. Uh, I had shrimp cocktail that night and in the lasagna, and I thought it was really, really good. But I guess we don't always agree on taste. We do not. Um, and I had, for dessert, I had the Italian chocolate hazelnut cake. And it comes warm with a little uh, little bit of vanilla ice cream, and it was, it was very good. What did I have for, for dessert that night? Mm -hmm. What did I have? The Italian chocolate hazelnut cake is what I had. That was real good. I enjoyed that. 
to where to now? Uh, it'd be last night. Last night. Last night was Royal Night. That was the first time that we have done the main dining room on Royal Night. Um, so we both had the main lobster tail. It's not huge. It's um, good. It's, it, it was, was good. It was good, but... But it's not huge. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and there's, there's not a whole lot of taste with lobster. It's no. <laughs> what you dip it in. It's, it's what you dip butter it in. You dip it, 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 in it. <laughs> yeah, it makes it good. So I had that and um, actually for my appetizer I got what they call the vegan bright citrus avocado and melon salad. That was tasty. I could eat that every day and I might when we get home. <laughs> It was really good. I enjoyed that a bunch. And of course, we got the um, lobster tail and then dessert. I did the baked Alaska, and it was a little bit disappointing. It was good, but um, it didn't have a whole lot of cake with it. It was just kind of a thin layer, um, but it was good. And you? And me? What do you have for dessert? Uh, well, yeah, of course I had the lobster and I had shrimp cocktail. It seems like every time there's shrimp on the menu, I'll, I'll, I'll pick that. I love shrimp. Uh, but then for dessert, I had, it was just a warm chocolate cake, again, with a little dish of ice cream, and it, it was good as well. Okay, we're going in the Windjammer for breakfast. Gotta go right now and do the washy washy thing, but I'll be back. And Jammer be busy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, should be hot. Eggs and more. Pam. Probably gonna go back around depending on to the entry rate, depending on what we can find here. You know. Yeah, there's generally a second buffet line here, but, but it's been removed. Make room for more seating. Scrambled eggs, hash browns, corned beef hash, bacon, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> sir. How are you? Good. How's your day? French toast. The hard boiled eggs. Omelets. Okay. 
cruise down the pool deck after a kind of late breakfast at the Windjammer. It's pretty packed out here right now. They have a children's play area. Complete with a water slide. A couple hot tubs. I guess there's three, three hot tubs and and two pools right here. Double decker bar. Our Gus. Still hanging. Still hanging. Along with the wet swimsuits, etc. At least we have a window. Yeah, I don't know if we showed this room or not. I know we did on Freedom. I'm not sure uh, if we uh, did a mini tour of this room or not. It's got this nice uh, portal, big portal in the very front of the ship. I don't know, where are we going, Miss Janet? We're going to deck four. Deck four. Deck eight. Oops. Well, we're stopping at eight first. Okay, heading up to the helipad off of deck four. Up the steps. Up the steps we go. Up we go. Uh oh. Phone keeps talking to me. These are the lifeboats you don't want to be in. Now don't say that. <laughs> they would still save the life. Maybe not as comfortable. Not as comfortable.
our stateroom is if you follow the ladder in front of the ship, our stateroom is the first portal on the left hand side of the ladder. Maybe we'll go up on deck 12 where the jogging and walking track is. Sun deck. Sun deck. See what's going on up there. I doubt it. Okay, on deck 12, which is the sun deck. And there's plenty of it today. open today. place to go and enjoy a beverage of your choice. Singer Johnny Rockets. It's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's usually seats going through here. kinds of fun things for the kids to do here right here. Ping pong, have your ping pong here.
So this is actually a two level putt putt course. Start out on top and the ball drops down here and you finish play. And we're at Johnny Rockets. We have outdoor seating along with indoor. Have awesome shakes, burgers. We do have to pay for this one, although I think it's something like 12 13 bucks and you can order whatever you want oh here we go hours of operation doesn't give a price it's like 12 13 dollars or something isn't it I think it is, but it's all you can eat, and it includes all the food that you want. Your but drinks, the milkshakes are all extra. extra, are they? Yes. Okay. This is Adventure Ocean for the kids' area, but I don't know if it's car. We need to find a place for this at home. Isn't it cool? At home? <laughs> like an addition, are you thought? Yes. Or? I suppose we can walk through here. It's, this is the video games. Arcade games. Lots and lots of arcade games. Of course this costs extra too. dark in here and just realized I got my sunglasses on. Okay. And that's it. Uh, I, I want to say that in the past we spent a lot of time eating at the Windjammer uh, and this cruise and the four day cruise prior to this I've been a little disappointed in the Windjammer mostly, mostly in their selection of food. The food was good it just wasn't what I particularly wanted uh, and I think I think the main dining room uh, has has excelled on, on these last two cruises so let's we'll see what we have uh, a couple more cruises scheduled in December so we'll see what what we think after those but so far I'm picking the main dining room 
heads and tails above the wind jam. Yeah, and you just know you can't be in a hurry. Um, and they will check with you to see if you're, if the timing is right. Um, at least our, our waiters and server did um, check with us every night to see if they were going too slow or they were going too fast. Um, they, they timed it out just right. We were able to get in and out of there and hit the 7 o'clock shows each night. Oh, and I will say, if you're on the ship, Adventure of the Seas, and a night with Adele is on the entertainment list. Yeah, she was really good. We really enjoyed that. Um, and what was the other thing I was going to say? Mm -hmm. That's something in mind. Oh, we haven't eaten yet this morning. We're going to hit the wind jammer for a light breakfast uh, because we do plan to go to the dining room tonight um, because they are having. Turkey and dressing. Turkey and dressing. So early Thanksgiving. Monday is actually Canadian Thanksgiving. So I wonder if that's why that that's put in there. So it's autumn turkey dinner. We will have turkey over mashed sweet potatoes, apple stuffing with toasted walnuts, sauteed corn, rich cider gravy, and for dessert I will probably get. You know, you can't have turkey dinner without apple pie, I think. So I'll probably do warm apple cobbler tonight. What do you think? Sound good to uh, you? Yeah, I'm not sure about dessert yet. I just, <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll get the turkey, but I'm, I'm not sure about dessert. I we'll have, probably have shrimp See, they cocktail. have, uh, they have shrimp cocktail again, so that'll be my appetizer. Right. They have seafood cake. Um, that's yeah. Christmas and appetizer. I did that see that. That is a little bit different than the crispy crab cake. Um, I might it, try that too, yeah. just to see what it is. But. It looks like it's served the same. It's the meat. It might be variety seafood meat. <laughs> kind of like a yeah. fancy hot dog. <laughs> uh, we shall see. We shall see. Okay, well, I think that's all for now. We're just going to relax and uh, enjoy our last day and get ready to fly home tomorrow. We have an early flight at, uh, at noon, so we're going to have to get up and around and get off this and ship and, and hit the shuttle in time to make that flight. But I, think, I don't think we'll have any, any problems. We already have uh, a shuttle scheduled. Uh, it's actually through through Lyft. It's the shuttle that we use to come from our hotel in Fort Lauderdale to Port Everglades. So hopefully that works out. So see you after a bit. Bye. I'm good.